This video is a part of a three part series on the power of PowerShell scripting. In the first part, we'll look how we can convert PowerPoint files into PDF with a single click. These PowerPoint files does not need to be in a single folder. It can also be in subfolders and this script can convert them into PDF with a single click. In the second part of this series, we'll see how we can convert Word documents into PDF. Again, these files can be in recursive folders and it will still work. And finally, in the third part of this video series, we'll see how we can organize literally thousands of photos or files into neatly structured year and month folder format. Uh, again, we'll be using PowerShell for this. So if you are looking at one of the videos and if, if you would like to look at the other, please check out on the playlist. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn how we can organize number of files or photos in year and month folder structure with a single click. You don't need any additional software. We are going to use Windows PowerShell script to accomplish this. Now we all have issues like that where you have tons of uh, photos or files, and then you would like to sort them out based upon a year and month. Uh, this trick will help you do that. We, we are going to organize all the, all the files into year and then month folder. So here is an, a quick example. What we are going to do is we will uh, run the script that will create a folder structure like this based upon the, the, the file creation date. And so if the photos were taken in year 2022, uh, in month of January, it will put into that particular folder and so on, right? And so we are going to use PowerShell, as I said. And now, if you have never used PowerShell before, uh, then you may have to enable a scripting execution policy. Now, it is a pretty simple and easy way to do that. It's just by default, Windows disable any execution of the PowerShell script. And so I'll show you how you can actually do that. And so first of all, let's just take an example. So here I have a, a folder with input file folder where I have a bunch of images and I would like to sort them out into this output folder uh, in years and month folders. So this is the script that we are going to use. It's usually followed by .ps1 or the extension of PowerShell script is ps1. So let me open that first. So here is the script. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Actually, I have it already open. So there are two settings that you need to change in order for it to work properly. The first is you need to specify the input file folder, and then you have to specify what is your output uh, file folder. So right here on the second line, I have specified the folder where all my photos or files that I would like to sort is located. And then here, is where it will eventually go, okay? So it will move all the files from input files folder to output files folder. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, it's better to just make sure that you keep a backup of your files uh, so that just in case if something goes wrong, you can still have a backup, right? It should work, but just in case, right? So once you set these two folders, the input folder and output folder, we are going to use PowerShell. So in order to open PowerShell, you have to just go to Windows, and then type PowerShell. Now, as I said, if you have never used PowerShell script before, then you may have to enable the execution policy. So in order to do that, you have to run PowerShell in an administrative mode. So this is just a one-time thing. So I already have it enabled, but let me just show you. So I'm going to click on run as administrator. And it may ask you to continue uh, or accept, all right? And so here is a PowerShell uh, uh, command line. You can see PS followed by this. And then all you have to do in order to work this, you just copy this set hyphen execution policy remote sign. Uh, and what it's doing is it's actually allowing you to run uh, a script that you basically got uh, from online uh, on your computer. Okay, so as I said, this script is right here. I'm also going to share the location of this script uh, in the description of this video. Uh, it is on my GitHub page, and it's pretty simple and straightforward uh, script. All it's doing is creating new folders uh, and then moving the files into the, those folders, okay? So I'll specify the, the location of this script on my GitHub page. Make sure that you download that or copy and save it uh, as a text or .ps, not, not text, but ps1 file extension, right? And so it will look something like, 
here. Okay. So once you have that, once you have all your uh, files into input files folder, all your uh, and then then we'll we'll run this script. Okay. So I'm going to copy my path. I'm going to go to partial. Um, and in fact, this is an administrative mode partial. And as I said, in order to enable that execution policy, you need to set that like that. But actually running the script, you don't need to open administrative mode. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to again open a PowerShell without uh, administrative mode. And you can see it right here. It doesn't say administrative. Okay. And so I'm going to change my directory to this folder. Okay, there is a space, so I need to do cd and then put it into parenthesis. Okay, so now you can see that it has changed uh, the directory to this particular directory. And all we have to do is now run this script. So before that, I'll just open the output files. And then I'm going to run my script. So in order to run a partial script, all you have to do is type dot, and then slash, and then just type the name of the script. So if you remember a, a, a script name, was sort underscore photos file by years and month. Okay, so I'm going to just say sort, and you don't have to type the entire name. You can actually type a part of the file name or the initial file name, and then press tab, and it is going to auto complete that. All right. So we are ready to run this script. Uh, as I said, in order to run the script, you just need to do dot, uh, then slash, and the name of the PS1 partial script. So the moment I press enter, you will see that it will move all the files from input files folder. And then based upon the creation date of each photo, it will create uh, a folder uh, for year and for month. And then it will put all those photos into individual folders. So let's press Enter. And it's done. And you can see that it has generated different uh, folders here. And then let's go into maybe 2010. You can see that the, one of the photo that I had was uh, in December 2010. So if I go there, I can see it in that particular uh, folder. And so as you can see, it generated all the years and also month. Okay? And so this is how you can easily uh, sort all your photos uh, into these year month folder structure. Now, in my case, I only had about you know 10 or 15 files, but this should work with literally thousands of files. And you saw that it didn't take it too long to generate that. In fact, when you run this, because it's creating these new folders, initially it may take just a fraction of seconds to generate these folders. But now that you have this folder, uh, all the files or all the photos will, will move into those relevant folders very quickly. And so as I said, with a single click, you should be able to migrate or sort all your files or photos into a very organized manner. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you like the content of my channel, then please consider subscribing. Thank you.